Hey, what's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to do some exploration of our views in our fire station model. So we're going to modify some view properties and we're going to explore some tools to um, view our model. Okay, so let's do this. So what I'm going to do here is here on my main floor view, I'm going to duplicate this. So how to duplicate a view in Revit. So to duplicate a view, all you have to do is to right click that. And then you can see here the option duplicate view. Okay, so I'm going to select here duplicate only. If you only want to duplicate the model elements, the 3D objects, you just select duplicate but if you want to include the annotation the text dimensions you can select duplicate with detailing or you can also use duplicate as a dependent okay which we have a separate topic for this one for this exercise i'll just select here duplicate so just select that and then after that you will now see here the duplicate view as you can see this is our original view right the main floor and it it shows here the tags, the room tags, right? But since we only selected duplicate, you will notice here on the copy of our main floor, it doesn't include the room tags because duplicate, it only duplicates the 3D model, all right? So I'm going to rename this one. I'm going to right-click this, and then I'm going to rename this. Let's say I'll call this uh, main floor furniture plan okay enter because i want to uh, create a furniture plan without the tags okay so this is now my furniture plan and then let me just uh duplicate again so i'm going to right click the main floor this time i'm going to select the other option which is duplicate with detailing okay so just click that and then after that, just rename this one. So let's say I'm going to call this uh, main floor annotated since it has the uh, room tags. So there's an annotation. So I'll just call this annotated. Annotated. Enter. Okay. So that's how you duplicate your view. So we now have our main floor. I have here my annotated. That includes the tags and also the furniture plan without the tags. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to tile the view. Let me just close my 3D view here, my main roof and then main floor. Let me just uh, tile the view by going to the view tab and then windows you can select here tile views so you can see side by side you can type z a for zoom all extents z a so revit will zoom extends your uh, view on all the views okay now the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you how to change the view properties okay so i'm gonna open the 3d view default 3d view let me just close my furniture plan here so that it highlights my 3D view. So here, you can change the visual style of your model. So right now, this is a shaded view. So to change the visual style, you need to go here on your view control bar. So this portion here or area of your user interface is what you call view control bar. Here, you can use the tools that can modify the properties of your of your current view so like for example this is the visual style so currently it is shaded with edges so you can click that and then here you'll be able to see the different options like a wireframe view which is this one you can orbit your model by the way if you want to orbit your model just need to hold the shift and then hold the middle button of your mouse and then you can now move your mouse okay so you can change the visual style to hidden line and if you want you can also select an element like for example i'm going to click the door and then you can start orbit again hold the shift hold the middle button of your mouse and then hold the mouse so as you can see if you select an object and then you orbit the concentration of your orbiting is on that selected object 
So let's say, for example, this door here. I'm gonna select or I'm gonna select this door, and then I'm gonna pan my drawing. So as you can see, as I orbit, the concentration of my uh, orbiting is on that selected object. Okay. Right. Okay. So now the next thing that I'm gonna do is uh, let me change again my view to uh, shaded view. Okay, and then you can actually turn on here the shadow. Okay, again, from the view control bar, you can click that. And as you can see, there's the shadow on your object or on your 3D model. There's a shadow. Okay, so here's your view cube. You can click the view cube here to change the orientation of your uh, 3D model. You can click that corners of the view cube so that you can go to the isometric view or you can go to the front view of your 3D. You can click that arrow to go to the right view, back view, uh, left, or you can go to the top. And then you can also orbit your compass here or move your compass like that. Then you can also click that arrow there if you want to rotate. And if you want to go to the default home view, just click that home icon. Click that and then you will be going to the default isometric view. All right. Okay, so I'm going to open again the main floor. Let me double click the main floor. Okay, so here... Let us furthermore explore our view control bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into this area here. And then after that, I'm going to click this wall here. Okay, so let's say, for example, in this view, you only want to see the walls. So I'm going to select one of the wall. And then from the view control bar, there is a tool here that is called temporary hide slash isolate. See that uh, spectacle or glass, eyeglass? You can click that and then you can see here options. So when you select isolate category, it will isolate the category of that selected element. Okay, so regardless of the type, as long as the category is, let's say, walls, all the walls will be uh, isolated because that's a category. Okay. So as you can see, even if their types are different, they are on the same category of walls. That's why they are isolated because you select uh, isolate category. So if you want to go back to normal view, because this is just a temporary, temporary, just click again that uh, icon and then you can select here, reset, temporary, hide, isolate. Okay, so if you only want to isolate, the selected element, again, I'm going to select the wall. You only want to select this wall or isolate this wall. You can click again that icon, temporary height isolate. And then you can select high, uh, isolate element. Okay, so that it will only isolate the selected element or elements because you can select multiple elements and isolate it. Okay, so let me reset that. You can also do that in 3D view. If you go to the 3D view again, so let's say you want the walls. So I'm going to select the wall and then click that uh, icon, temporary hide, isolate, and then I can isolate the category. There you go. And then just click outside. See? Right? So let's reset that. So let's say uh, you want to isolate the the windows so click the windows isolate category there you go okay the idea of um hide is just the same as isolate so the only difference is that you are hiding a category and you are hiding an element so it's the complete opposite of isolate category and isolate element okay so like for example this uh roof here so i can select that roof and then I can select here like a uh, hide element. So it will only hide that selected element. There you go. All right. So let me just uh, go back again to reset temporary dimension. Okay. So another thing that you can do is you can change the detail level of your uh, view. 
okay so you can change the detail level here to uh, uh, fine if I'm going to zoom in here on this corner you can see there the changes this is the medium not much change course view there you go so there's a change there and then you can also change this to fine if you are doing MEP if you select here um, course what will happen is your duct and pipe it will show as a single line okay if you select course and if you select fine it will shows as a double line or in 3d view okay so that's the fine detail level and then this is the course detail level okay and you can also change here again the visual style shaded view something like that okay and also if you want so let's say for example you want the the model or the floor plan is too big you only want to concentrate in this area here so there's another tool here that is useful which is show crop region you click that and then you will notice automatically do not crop view will gonna be uh, turned on so what happens is as you can see this is your crop view if you click that you will be able to use that to crop your view okay since this is activated as well so as you move your crop view you will be able to crop your model like that and then you can hide this if you want you can hide the crop region like that okay so if you want to go back just click that again so you can see your crop view but if you just want to show the crop view and you do not want to crop the window you can just turn off this one as you can see if you click this what will happen is it will not crop the view so click that so it will not crop the view and then there's your uh, crop region okay so you can do that because sometimes the, the the view is too big so you can crop it so like for example this one i only want to show for example the um, male toilet like that and then after that you can now crop it there you go so now so there are still some annotation outside so what you can do is you can check the properties here and then look for annotation crop so if you turn on the annotation annotation crop so it will disappear because if you click the crop region you will see here a dotted line as well this is your annotation crop so any text or dimension that is touched by this dash line or outside the dash line it will crop out you will not be able to see that in your view like for example this one i have a tag here right so right now i can see but let me adjust this one if my uh, annotation crop touches that it will disappear okay so that's how your annotation crop works so any annotation that touches the annotation crop or outside outside here you will not be able to see that it will be cropped if this is turned on the annotation crop but if it is not you uncheck that so it will show all the annotation right that one that one so if you want to make it look tidy you don't want to have a scattered annotation so you can just check the annotation crop and let's say you don't want to see the the crop view so you can turn off here hide crop region or again you can go to properties and you can select a uh, crop view here you just uncheck the crop view it's like turning off it here as well oh sorry not that one but the crop region visible this one there you go so it's now hidden okay so basically that's some of the tools that you can use to view your model so you can use your uh, view control bar so as you can see you can also change here the scale and also that's how you duplicate 
and create another floor plan view. Okay, so that's it for this simple exercise. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.